constituency of Don Valley, Nick Fletcher. Welcome everyone, and a particular welcome to our businesses who create wealth, jobs and investment for our public services. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> welcome back to the City of Doncaster and this wonderful venue. It's so good to have you all here for a second time. I know it's going to be a great day. We have some fantastic speakers and some great panels too. And we will have some great food. It is the North, after all. This year's conference is titled A Stronger Britain, A Stronger North, A Stronger Britain. And I could not agree more. But I am going to start with a little glimpse into my mind. Don't panic. It's a bit dark, but trust me, it gets brighter. The thing is, I love Doncaster. But after 55 years, of labour at the helm, it has definitely taken its toll. Successive Labour governments and Conservative governments ignored places like Doncaster all across the North. Labour, when they were in power, took the vote for granted. And the Conservatives never really gained traction here at all. But everything changed in 2019. A new government and a new parliament with seats like mine, won with people like me. People like Peter Gibson from Darlington. People like Paul Howell from Sedgefield. Red wall seats. I remember going to Westminster for the very first time. The late Sir David Amos introduced himself to me and told me, Nick, you may be new here, but you have as much right to be here as anybody. Those words encouraged me more than he would ever know. He was a fine man. <laughs> Imposter syndrome is suffered by all of us at some point, and I was no different. That little voice in our head which says, you can't do stuff, that denies you the courage to take up the opportunities to better yourself. Too many in the North have felt like this. But why? Socialism is why. It breeds victim mentality and imposter syndrome, and after generations it can get ingrained. I know that. I was born here in Doncaster. I have seen it here in Doncaster, but no more. We all have a right to be in this room. We all have a right to hold our place at every meeting, at every board chamber, every boardroom table and every chamber. We also have other rights too. A right to get on in life, a right to get qualifications, a right to learn a skill, to start a business, to own a home and to bring up a family, a right to make the most of our talents. A right to stand here and address you. Never as an imposter, never as a victim, only ever as a strong voice. It's only the Conservative Party that believes the individual in each of us. It's only the Conservative Party that gives us all the platform to have that voice and the courage to use that voice. We don't believe in putting people in boxes. We believe in potential. We want everybody to be their best, to do their best, and to receive the rewards of their hard work and their risks taken. The Northern Research Group encapsulates all of that. It provides strong, regional, conservative voice, and we need that voice in the North. And as bad as things have been with a pandemic, with an illegal war, we should be eternally grateful to our voters, voters, voters for giving us that voice. They helped places like Doncaster in 2019 smash the shackles of socialism in the north for the very first time. Now locally, Labour will try and break our spirits with their party politics. 
Nationally, we have become a much bigger state than I believe most true conservatives would like. But the future is bright if we just press on. We will get our finances where our Prime Minister wants them to be. It's already happening. Inflation is on its way down and talk of taxes down. In fact, I believe we need to reduce income tax, corporation tax, yes, and business rates too. We must get taxes down to let business flourish. Low taxes let people spend their money on what they want, not on what Whitehall wants. That's how you build a strong national economy. That's how you build a strong northern economy. And that's how you build a strong local economy. That is where we need to be. And as Conservatives, we instinctively understand this. Of course we want investment in public services and infrastructure. Who doesn't? But we can only fund them through growth, increased productivity in our businesses and fiscal prudence from our government. Only a Conservative government can deliver that. We cannot afford another note from Labour saying, good luck, there is no money left. That is what they left the country with last time they were in office. That is what they leave the country with every time they are in office. One key to the government's economic master plan is devolution. And this, with the right leaders, will help the North. Who knows the North better than the people who live here? Ask anyone if they want power devolved locally or kept in Westminster, and the answer is always the same. Yes, yes, we want the decisions made here. Sadly, we do not have a Conservative mayor in South Yorkshire, but trust me, there is one coming. A Conservative mayor who will reopen our airport, who will take back the city centres, put the hustle and bustle back in them. A mayor will bring in businesses from around the world. A mayor will seed fund the industry, but let industry do what they do best, make money and make money in the north. A Conservative mayor who will put our people first and our businesses first, not their own agenda. A mayor who understands the answer to every problem is not just moaning to the government. A mayor with the right attitude and aspiration, a mayor with a positive vision. It's about getting off the Zoom and getting in the room. It's about leading by example, being a victor, not a victim. It's about teaching our kids to be proud of their past and positive about their future. Not being scared because of an overzealous climate narrative that says we're all doomed. As well as not confusing them in the present about who they are. We need local mayors to use their influence for the good of the North, not for the good of their ideologies. It's about education and skills. Yes, we must reskill and upskill, not rely on the easy lever of immigration that puts more pressure on public services, taxes and housing. We need Conservative mayors across the North. That day is coming and it can't come soon enough. We will get there. Leveling up was never going to be easy. But Conservative mayors like Ben Ouchin are proof that it can be done. The temporary knockbacks we have had nationally, the knockbacks we all take locally under poorly run Labour councils, they should only further our resolve. I will never, ever, ever stop fighting for Doncaster and the North, and I know you won't too. The line for this conference is a stronger North, a stronger Britain. And I call on everyone in this audience, support that statement and take it back to your part of the world. Because in Great Britain, when Conservatives work together, we all win together. The future is bright. A stronger North, a stronger Britain. I thank you. His name is Nick Fletcher. He's the MP for Don Valley, and I think you agree. He's the authentic voice of conservatism in the north of England. Thank you, Nick. Brilliant speech.